Starting a YouTube channel can be a very expensive process. When you think about getting things like cameras, lenses, batteries, SD cards, lights, microphones, it all starts to add up really quickly. You know, $50 here, $80 there, $600 there for a new camera, a new lens. And it's really easy to get wrapped up in gear. And gear is one side of YouTube, but the other side that a lot of people overlook is what you do after you've used your gear, after you've shot your content, after you've recorded your audio, recorded your video, what do you do with it? Well, you have to edit it. You know, nobody's just putting unedited footage up on YouTube, no matter how great of a shot it is, you still have to edit it, right? And I cannot tell you how many people I know with less than 100 subscribers on YouTube, or even ones with over 10,000 subscribers that still aren't making a living on YouTube, that are using paid for video editors, paying hundreds of dollars a year. They bought all their gear, they've done their initial investment, but their video editor, that software, it's an ongoing constant expense, and they're not making the money back that they need to cover that expense. That's what I'm talking about in this video, because I was one of those people, I found a solution that works great for me, and I think it can work great for you as well. Let's get right into it. What's going on everybody? My name is Chris, I'm the Nerd in Training, and in today's video we're gonna be talking about DaVinci Resolve 16 by Blackmagic Studios. Now the reason why I love this software so much is because it is completely free, just absolutely amazing. So to go over some basics, it's an all-inclusive video editing suite. It has everything from color grading, audio engineering, 3D effects like After Effects from Adobe, and then obviously the basic video tools you need. Trimming, cutting, transitions, everything else you can do over Overlays, you can do green screen effects all within the software and did I mention it's completely free I'm, I'm gonna stress that point a lot throughout this video that it's free because that just it seriously blows my mind I cannot tell you how excited I was when I found the software so let's give a little bit of a story about my origins on YouTube and my experience with paid for video editors and then I'm gonna talk about what I like so much about this video editor and why I ultimately went with it and why I think if you're just now starting on YouTube and you're looking for a free video editor this is a great choice and if you've already been doing YouTube or any type of professional video work for some time you should definitely check out the software can't hurt to just download it install it and do some test videos on okay so enough babbling let's get into the backstory when I started this channel two years ago I did the same thing I talked about in the beginning of this video I I went out, I bought a camera, I bought a Lumix G7, I bought a lens, I bought extra batteries for it, I bought SD cards, tripods, lights, and a microphone, and I said, you know what, I'm ready. And then I started shooting content, started practicing, started making content, I was lost, right? I wanted to be the next Peter McKinnon, I wanted to be the next Casey Neistat, so what do I do? I look up what they're using. Casey Neistat uses Final Cut, I don't have a Mac, so my next option, Peter McKinnon, he uses Premiere Pro, I'm like, okay, that's great, that's perfect, Peter McKinnon, his content's amazing, and he uses Premiere Pro, I could download Premiere Pro, and I could start making his level content, well, boy. Was I freaking wrong? Holy crap, that dude, Peter McKinnon, you are absolutely amazing. And I don't care what software we give you, we can give you GoPro's quick software on the phone, and you're gonna make some amazing cinematic masterpiece with some silky smooth B-roll out of it, I guarantee it. I was very, very wrong to go ahead and buy a subscription to Adobe Premiere Pro and After Effects. And the reason why I was so wrong is because you have to think about your gear. Your gear is an initial investment, right? I think I said this already, but your gear is the initial investment of your channel. Let's say you set a budget $900 to start a YouTube channel. Well, if you have a software, a video editing software you're paying for monthly or yearly, or you have to upgrade whenever the new one comes out to get more features, that's an ongoing expense. And it can take years to grow on YouTube. It can take years to get to a point where you're making substantial amount of money or even enough money just to cover the video editing software they're using to make your videos. So why would you do that to yourself? Why would you set yourself up for failure? Why would you put yourself in the negative of making money versus not making money? Because even if you start making money you're not gonna be able to pocket any of it you're not gonna be able to reinvest any of it because you're spinning on your video editor so I'm telling you guys right now if you are one of those people if you are just still growing on YouTube or if you're just not figuring out what you want please consider canceling your paid for memberships I know it's a big it's a big risk right because once you start using Adobe you kind of people have a habit of becoming like an Adobe Pierce no other video editor is ever gonna be as good as Adobe no other video editor is ever going to be able to make the same kind of cinematic b-roll that Adobe Premiere Pro can pump out for me well it can 
It's just it's a matter of if you can, not necessarily the software. Here's the website, DaVinci Resolve. There's two different downloads. You have DaVinci Resolve 16 and DaVinci Resolve Studio 16. We're going to ignore DaVinci Resolve Studio 16 because that is their ultimate professional package version of the software that is a paid for version of the software. And the whole point of this video is we're talking about the free. So make sure you download the version on the left here that is free because that's what we're going to get into. And that's the software I've been using for the past six months. I've made over 20 videos with it. And I have to say, it's pretty amazing. I have not heard a single complaint about the quality of my videos. I've actually I actually only heard a lot of people tell me, you know, in DMs and in comments that the quality of my videos have even improved. And a lot of that comes with me learning how to be a better videographer and me learning how to edit better. But also it's a huge thanks to this software. So for me to really get into a video editor, it has to hit a couple of check marks. Cause I've, I've tried Final Cut on a Mac, I've tried Sony Vegas and I've tried Premiere Pro and now I've settled with DaVinci Resolve because I love it. So it has to hit a couple of check marks for me to, to really, really like it. And Premiere Pro hit all these check marks pretty damn good. But we're gonna we're gonna talk about DaVinci Resolve because it's the free alternative. And obviously, this video, a lot of people are going to be constantly comparing, like I am, uh, something like Premiere Pro to DaVinci Resolve, and that's a bad mindset to have because you have to understand that they are completely different packages. If we were to really compare them, we'd have to compare DaVinci Resolve's Studios, which is the paid for version, to Adobe Premiere Pro's pay for version of the same software. Does that make sense? Because you you really have to put them on the same playing field. Anyways. We're talking about the free version in this video. See, I keep saying it, free, 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 free. The check marks that it has to hit, it has to be intuitive, it has to be easy to use. I need to be able to look at the video layout of the editing tools and figure out exactly what I want. If you look at how I have my, my system set up here, if you look at how I have Resolve set up, because this is what you're seeing on your screen right now, is the interface of the software. Um, it, it's super intuitive, super easy to use. It doesn't require any special skills. You don't have to go digging for anything. You have all of your presets on the left. You have all your media up top. You have two different previews, one for previewing the media and one for previewing your timeline. And it's just so easy to use. It's so easy to just flow through video edits. What used to take me three or four hours in Premiere Pro is only taking me 45 minutes now because I'm able to find exactly what I need, exactly where I need it, and it just works better for me. The next thing that I need out of a video editor, I'm sure in 2019 going into 2020, a lot of you guys are gonna need the same thing, is I need an editor that's strong enough to handle 4K video footage. And the reason why I need that is because right now I'm shooting in 4K. I shoot in 4K every single time I make YouTube video so I can render in 1080p, so I can get multiple camera angles, so I can be zoomed in on my face and then you know maybe slowly zoom out, create some type of dynamic movement so you guys aren't getting bored just sitting here watching me sit in play. But you can, you can in post, you can crop and zoom in and create these dynamic movements of your camera with a static camera shot. So it's like you get multiple cameras on you at the same time. It's a great little tip to have. And um, you know, a lot of free video editors just, they can't handle 4K footage and they can't handle all the different cutting and zooming and then rendering out and making it look nice and professional. DaVinci Resolve Cam. You got a professional tip right there on creating better YouTube videos. Always be dynamic, always be moving, always be animated. The next thing it has to be able to do is since I'm mostly a vlogger at this point, I need to be able to create really nice B-roll. And do you think I could do that? Let's ask myself out in the woods if you can create good B-roll with this. on b-roll or as i like to call it some really overrated bread you see what i did there b-roll bread roll anyways in the vlogging community specifically i'm seeing more and more creators are uploading like five minute videos where it's just a whole b-roll edit with music and like maybe 10 seconds of talking and like you know i see this a lot with twitch streamers that upload vlogs that's not a vlog dude that's just you filming no talking and putting music on it. Like I get it that they're filming the stuff with their cell phones or whatever they have and they're giving it to an editor, but it, it's just, it's becoming a real issue. So quit making so much B-roll and start making more better A-roll guys. That's all. 
thanks nerd for that b-roll update uh, huge help i really hope that it helps the people at home understand that yes you can create pretty silky smooth great b-roll with this even if you don't have a drone like i did to get those shots you can still create really cool b-roll everything i've made on this channel for the past six months has been done with the software and i don't have anything special i haven't even gone exploring there are all kinds of free LUTs and presets available online just like there are for premiere pro and that's the next topic we're going to segue into that can you guys spell segue i want to spell it on the screen really slowly here but i wonder if you guys can spell segue if you can without using autocorrect put it in the comments below because until i was making this video and wanted to put the word segue in it for some reason i had no idea how to spell this word so Anyways, if you purchased LUTs, like for instance, I purchased Peter McKinnon's cinematic LUT package from his Selfie page two years ago, because like I said, Peter McKinnon was my inspiration and I love the guy, I love his content. You can still totally use those LUTs and they look just as good in DaVinci Resolve. It's pretty amazing. Anything that Premiere Pro is using as some type of preset or LUT, transitions, color grades, you can bring into the software. So if you've invested money, if you spent money on different color grades and different LUTs and different transitions, you can bring them over completely pain free. That's what I did. It was amazing. I stream and I make YouTube videos pretty much all the time now, at least five times a week, I'm creating some type of content and being able to have extra money to reinvest into that to make the content better is such a good feeling because I was spending around $50 a month on my Premiere Pro membership. And that's a lot of money, especially for somebody who's married, has kids and responsibilities. I have a mortgage and bills and cars and yada, yada, yada. Every little expense really adds up. You know, if I could save $50 a month, that's like taking my wife out on a date. That's like going to the movies twice a month. That's enjoying the things that I wasn't able to enjoy because I was spending money on something I didn't need. I can now enjoy again and it's, it's just a good feeling so if you guys would like to see more davinci resolve videos maybe tutorials maybe an in-depth comparison between premiere pro and davinci resolve i know it's been done before but it hasn't been done by me let me know in the comments down below um i've gotten a, i've gotten a lot of compliments on my transitions so if you guys would like to see like a transitions tutorial on how i make my transitions maybe how i do the timing or how i edit the preset transitions to make them look a little bit better let me know down below and i'll definitely make a video on it i hope you guys have a great night i hope maybe you learned something from from this video. I hope it wasn't too boring and I hope to see you guys in the next one. Bye.